Hi, and welcome to Book Chat with Julie. I'm Julie with the Argento Library, and we're part of the North Little Rock Public Library System here in North Little Rock, Arkansas. And welcome to my dining room table. We're going to chat um, about some books uh, with secrets, some secrets coming up. So um, it's March. Happy St. Patty's Day. Happy, uh, as you know, if you followed me for a while, it's Happy March Madness at our house. Um, so my team is quietly getting their dance shoes on. They're going to slide into that dance for this March Madness month. And uh, fingers crossed, toes crossed, and everything um, that we can do at our house where we're cheering on um, my team. And you know what team my team is uh, coming from Arkansas. It's the Tigers and not the Arkansas Tigers. But anyway, March Madness. Here we go. So the books that I'm going to show you uh, might be some uh, good books to take on a spring break. Do you still get a spring break? Uh, most of us adults don't get a spring break. Um, however, we do wish that we do. Uh, maybe you are planning um, to go on a spring break trip. I have some brand new books. Uh, they just hit our shelves at the library. Um, and these books are full of secrets. So let me introduce you to a few. Uh, before I tell you about the books, I, I was cleaning out an old jewelry box um, of mine from when I was younger. And who remembers having a library card that looked like this with the little metal bar? Are there any libraries out there that still use the machine that have the little bar on them? Uh, these are a couple of my library cards from growing up. Um, I've treasured them. Um, I treasured going to the library. Look, going to the library was the first place that I could actually walk from my house to the library by myself. And I can remember going and I would just pull up a chair into the stacks and I would sit there all day. My mom would have to call the library and um, tell them to send me home. <laughs> And they would say, well, we're getting ready to close. We're about to send her home anyway. But I, I would just, especially in the summertime, I would just go and stay there all day long, read books, read the magazines. And we could, with a dime, you could check out albums. And I would check out Elvis Presley um, albums. I can remember bringing them. And then you got your dime back when you returned them um, and carrying those out big stack of books and albums down the, the main street uh, to get home from the library. Um, but my old library cards just wanted to share that I've, I've still kept them all these years. So a few books that, like I said, these are brand new. Um, some of them I haven't read yet, but I did have them on hold because they're some of my, um, I'll, I'll say newer favorite authors. Um, they're authors that I kind of met uh, during COVID and have read a few things and watched a few interviews and started following and um, learning a little bit about them. Um, but the first book that I'm going to talk about is called The House of Eve. And it is by Sadika Johnson. Um, she has, has become one of my favorite authors. Um, as I'm filming this, I'm actually smack dab in the middle of this book. This book is set in the 1950s. Um, there is a young girl who's 15, and then there's an adult woman, and they both have secrets of their own. They're going to intertwine in ways um, that they didn't know they can. And I'm at the part of the book where I'm starting to kind of figure out how their secrets are going to intertwine, but I'm not quite there yet. So. I have a prediction for that book. Um, another book uh, that I have, have had on hold waiting for it to come in is Signal Fires, and that's by Danny Shapiro. This is basically a story that is set in a cul-de-sac in a neighborhood, and there are two families, lots of secrets. There's a tragic accident that happens, um, hence more secrets uh, come to uh, pass in that in that story, so um, I'm anxious to get started with that one. 
<clears throat> a Small World. That's a, actually a very new author to me. Um, I watched an interview with her and immediately put that book on hold, The Small World. It is about, and it is by Laura Zygman, and it's a story about two sisters. They're in their 50s. They're both newly divorced, and they've decided uh, to move in together. So not only are they bringing their adult lives, their adult, um, I don't know, tragics, uh, their divorces, their stories, their situations together, but they're also going to reminisce and bring up old family secrets um, from the past and do they get past that? Do they, does it bring them closer? Does it bring family closer together? Um, but just another story where secrets are part of the story. Rebecca Mackay is um, an author that I've read quite a bit. I loved her first book, which was called The Great Believers. This one is, I have some secrets. I have some questions for you, is the title. I have some questions for you by Rebecca Mackay. But it is a book full of secrets. Um, there's a murder. It's a little bit of a mystery, but the people all entwined in the story all have parts of the secret. So it's not just one person's secret, but it's many secrets. And that is, I have some questions for you by Rebecca, Rebecca Mackay. Um, speaking of Sadiqa Johnson um, for the House of Eve, if that if you are new to her, another book. Um, that is how I was introduced to her, is called The Yellow Wife, and it is set in the Civil War. Um, it's a slavery story. I will tell you, it's a very hard story to read. Um, so for me to say I enjoyed it, um, enjoy is not the right word when you describe a, a book like that. It was very informative, and it was very thought-provoking, and that's The Yellow Wife by uh, Sadiqa Johnson as well. So if you are following along with the North Little Rock uh, Public Library this year, we are, our reading challenge is reading through the decades. So we are in March, which means we are in the 1920s. Um, there's lots of books in the library. We Both libraries have displays. We have um, on the screen <laughs> on one way or the other. I, are some suggestions um, go to the website and um, it will link you to the QR code or to the link for other suggestions. Um, if you're um, not only reading through the decades, but maybe you're watching um, or doing an audio book, um, this is a DVD that we do have um, available through the library, and it is called The Lovely, and it stars uh, Kevin Klein and Ashley Judd, and it's the story of Cole Porter. Um, if you're a Broadway buff, kind of like myself, uh, you'll recognize a lot of the songs. There's a lot of music in here. Um, they do a great job. Um, Kevin Klein, uh, obviously, he portrays Cole Porter and his story. And this is set in the 1920s um, when his uh, music and shows and the Broadway shows um, were making their, their debuts. And it's one of my favorites uh, to listen to, both the soundtrack um, and to watch the DVD. So I hope this March uh, finds you ready for spring. Um, my neighbors, uh, daffodils and jonquils have already bloomed. However, today's kind of cold, so I'm hoping we don't get a cold snap um, uh, to do something bad to those jonquils. Those are my favorite. I love to look every day morning when I went out, go out to the van to leave for work. Um, his whole yard is, is full of jonquils and it makes me happy. It's one of my favorite flowers. So again, I hope March is, is treating you well and springtime is coming. It's lighter, longer, and um, it's about time to get out on the deck and start reading um, and to be able to read outside. So I hope you're enjoying your spring, and thank you again for joining me for another episode of Book Chat with Julie.